That's what the internet's supposed to be, but then people take it too personally. All right, since we're already demonetized, this would be a good a good time right now to bring this up. I don't like no knock raids, and I like to keep our YouTube channel up. <laughs> it. Yeah, it's the internet, man. It's, it's like someone. It's like it's like getting up and walking out of your house, and someone is like written chalk on your driveway. That's like fuck you, Steve, and you just like <laughs> yeah, I <know>. can't handle <laughs> it. But do you include a free Costco membership? <sighs> Two or three cycles of ejectables and came home a fucking bear. Sick. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. It was puberty 2.0. Yeah, sometimes. We're, like we're fucking recording again, aren't we? Oh, yeah. I hate that you do this. Well, it's part of it. No. I mean, yeah. that was probably some good footage. Welcome to the 2A Procast. <laughs> yes. Hi, everyone. Today, you have Nolando Meeks, myself, and Don't Jacob Tackett from Mad Minute Tacticians. Oh, there it is, 20 bucks. Your name is not Jacob. Mad Minute Tacticians. Every time, every, time he say, every time he says Mad Minute Tacticians, I'm charging him $20. That's what's. That's the rules. It's the dues. Every time I say it, I charge him 10 So, <laughs> it's Wait, why am I going to get when you, you should be paying. No. No. Uh, if I say sense. it, it's marketing for you. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, sounds good. Exactly. Mad Minute Tacticians. Mad Minute. Yeah, any deals. <laughs> If you were any, if you had any semblance of marketing prowess, you would put an MMT shirt on right now or brought what one to the podcast. Awesome, yeah. Or just tattoo it on your fucking face. You just a big mm -hmm. MMT right here. Yeah. I'll get this hand done with MMT and just like yeah. casually have it. Just like money anybody money else wants to get Tacticon tattoos, hit me up. No, absolutely but not. I, do it. I will deny it. I will tell all of customer service not to let you do it. <laughs> we had a guy get no. a Tacticon what did tattoo. He get a couple, couple guys. I give him a. Uh, he's body armor. A, he's got a lifetime discount, right? Lifetime discount. Mm -hmm. Yep. Dude, you're gonna have a bunch of people get Tacticon tattoos now. Get Not Tacticon happening. tattoos. You get a fifty percent. Come on, guys. You get a hundred percent discount if you bring get it on. <laughs> hundred percent discount. Free Anyways, products for life. <laughs> welcome, everyone. Yes. We are here to talk about a lot of things. If you're not in the Two A Pro Discord server, what are you doing with your life? There are the greatest lads and lasses in there talking about all things 2A and just a good, good group of individuals. So hop on in, get on down. Link is in the description. And heard that girl. If you're looking for someone to take your hand and walk you through the arduous process of starting a business in the 2A space and teaching you all the ins and outs and all of his own personal failures on how to become <laughs> ultra successful, Jacob Dines. Then come with me and you'll see. A world of I don't give a fuck, bitch. Yeah, I, there is a. I tell you what, everybody <laughs> that is, uh, everybody that's doing that, like you're pumping orders through. Like, What's that? People, all those two A pro orders, man. Like, Dude, it's cranking. Yeah, it's cranking and spanking. It, two A pro working. course, literally, just like Nolan said, you're building a business. Biz ass. In the Second Amendment space. So whether it's making tactical equipment or going the Black Rifle Coffee Company route where you're making coffee but with a Second Amendment foundation, there are dudes in this course that are absolutely crushing it right now, and the course has only been open for three months, and dudes are literally doing five figures every month. Some of them are five yeah. figures, meaning, meaning, meaning oh, oh, over $10,000, just depending on what they're doing, how many gun shows they're running, and if they're ordering products yet and and hitting hitting those suppliers and following direction, right? Following the instructions. It's fucking cool, though, man. Do the damn thing. Make some of that cash flow. Make some of you that cash I mean? flow. And I'll show you how. Uh, aiming for... Link in the description. 9-1. The Da Vinci course will be coming out. The kind of... Oh, yes. Social media part nice. of the course should be coming out around that time. That is what we are shooting for. <laughs> so if you want to make amazing social media content like Nolan is, that's all part of the course. And you want to make garbage social media content like Nolan is. Yeah, indeed. The other thing, too, is you may or may not know this, but Self we build you <laughs> my whole we build you a website and deliver it to you. You just got to drag and drop photos and text and, and stuff on there. So yeah. the website, it's uh, uh, it's built on a framework that will not shut you down like it does everybody else in this industry, like all the, uh, you know, Shopify and Wix and... Yeah. And uh, check out Square, Mad Square Minute Space, Square Space, yeah. It's on Wix. <laughs> but yeah, we deliver a website. It's not going to get shut down. We host it on our own servers that won't shut you down, and it's completely private, and you're... You're good to go and good to hook. And Nolan actually delivers you. He will do your social media for you personally Every as part of the video. program. <laughs> I will I will edit and make all of your videos. I will film them for you. Lies. That part is not true. The website is. Uh, and we buy your domain name for you. Yeah. Yeah. It's Pretty cool. much signing up for the course is actually 
the cheaper than that's doing like can you get a website yeah, do you stuff. maintain ownership of the domain name absolutely not no nice. we, we do Dude, not maintain awesome. it we're just we act as the registrar yeah anytime you take your domain and move it over to yeah, a, another domain, yeah. you can move your domain over to a, another registrar at any time that'd be so that's fucked awesome. up if you're like oh, no, no, it's like, yeah, no, I no, no i got you <laughs> they buy the domain they'd be yeah. like thanks thank, thank you you, you, this whole, yeah. you want that domain <laughs> no you want that dot com you literally have a contract and other websites and then you just reach down six months later and go no they're all mine also no so we have a there's there's a contract that's affiliated with the course that shows that like you own 100 percent of all your property and, Dude, that's awesome, and everything man. like that so that's there's awesome. there's nothing even legal, everybody needs legally a side hustle right now man it's like 41 percent of americans have a side hustle Dude, that's what when i when i say some of these dudes are making over like ten thousand dollars a month like doing what they're do, doing the thing in the show that they're doing they have a full-time job already yeah. Like, so it yeah, is, is that side, dude. Dude. straight up side hustle money. It's fucking sick. I believe it, dude. I did a. You are uh, filling the order. He's yeah. filling the orders for the show. He can. I filled an $11,000 order today and thought Jesus it was going to kill me. Christ. It was pretty much all body armor, too. So it's fucking delicious. Yeah. Delicious cool. and nutritious. And, and or nutritious. And we white label for you, too. So if you're like, hey, my name is Bob and I want Bob's tactical body armor and I don't want Tacticon on it, then we make, we'll make you Bob's tactical body armor and it'll look like it came from you. It's a That's beautiful good. situation that you got us facing over here. So, yep. Love what we're doing. Man, there needs to be some MMT body armor. That's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. I'm saying, make yeah. some fucking MT armor. You can actually like kind of. I can like literally make it. You can customize it and literally like, make it yourself. You I can some, make. I like it. work yeah, here now. You work if here. You know, so I, I live in California and I work for Tactical. I've got now. some crayons. You could. That's dude, dude, dude. Honestly, that would be like the best label ever. There's just like a standard body armor label, like it is, and you're like this armor can only be worn. <laughs> but like right at the top was just like a <laughs> shitty <laughs> MT. <MMT. laughs> <laughs> With crayon. Yeah. Yeah. Just the cock and balls on there. I'm sure. No, dude, you need to get serious, okay? Okay. Okay. Super serious. Super yeah. serious. There are customers that literally call us and tell us that there will be in it'll be in the shipping notes. You'll see it come across in the shipping. Well, you're shipping the professional orders, so it's probably not. But probably not. there are customer orders that come in on a fairly regular basis that says, "Please request Nolan or Drake Jake to, to draw a penis on my yes. ballistic helmet." Or I was, something. I was told about this. Today. Yeah. 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 We draw. Yeah. We. I, I've do, drawn like, plenty of cock. You guys do like outline like to life replica. Yeah, like chalk outline on the helmet. Yes, I I draw. If there was enough room on the helmet, I would draw an uh, like an actual replica oh, on my okay. cock. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can draw mine a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but two A pro jumping into the helmet is my content. The, okay, <laughs> jumping into uh, jumping into kind of how you were talking about a server that won't shut you down. I think we should just jump straight into censorship. We should. Yeah. I, the ship. I, don't, I don't know if I said this, but the link for all that shit, the Discord, the 2A Pro course, and Mad Minute Tactician will be in the oh, description. Because otherwise people are going to be like, oh, you me? talked about a bunch of shit, but I don't know where to find it. All that stuff's in the description of this video, of the YouTube video. I get, if you're on fucking some other channel, it won't be in the description. Um, If you're on... You have to go to the YouTube yeah, channel and look on, at the YouTube no, description. No. Actually, um, the... Spotify? On, Spotify, thank okay. you. The Spotify will have... All that in the description. Okay. I don't know if you can click the links in Spotify or whatnot. I put it in the description, anyways. Good luck. God bless. <laughs> See, what what were you? Uh, what were we segueing into? Uh, censorship. Mm, indeed. So one thing that uh, we were going to talk about this uh, last yesterday <laughs> that we didn't get to um, was I, I can't. Funny enough, I can't remember if we even said it. How if you Google Donald Trump. It comes up with Kamala Harris. Yeah, yeah. man, yeah. dude, it was totally yeah. Crazy. So let's talk totally about crazy. Google. Or when you ask AI about Donald Trump, it will say we don't have any information on this. And then you ask about Kamala Harris, it gives you her entire background. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It, you ask about the shooting, and it's like, oh, well, not we don't her entire know anything. Background. No, I'm not saying uh, ChatGPT does this, but there's, yeah. um, I think it's Google's AI does it. Oh, really? Bart, Weird. yeah. So, yeah. When we googled it yesterday, it was like it was like Donald Trump insults Kamala Harris like every single yeah, thing was like if you type like, in Donald Trump and google it every title had Kamala Harris in it yeah Jesus. it was it was super ridiculous super Fuck. ridiculous like e even though it's like kind of saying that like yeah. yeah you google Donald Trump but like it's just turning a story it's, mm -hmm. it's, everything was intentionally written to where if you just casually looked at it Donald Trump was this racist crazy <laughs> yeah. person yeah, yeah, was yeah just yeah. attacking a black yeah. female for no reason yeah at all. like I saw some of those results put them up can you put them up on the screen because he should <laughs> Pop pop pop, 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 Can you make the little pop sound when you put them up on of the course. screen, too? Oh. Oh, that was Nice. Really that was a good one. Thanks, man. I'm probably going to save that as a sound effect. <laughs> you do, should. And I'm just going to pop that into random, like, videos. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's terrifying to me 
that we have mega conglomerates like this, nice. Fuck. You get that off the You board. want me to throw a pinch of Copenhagen at you? <laughs> Just opens up and <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah. Like, Man. Don't, don't get me wrong. I am okay. for private businesses being able to do what they want with their own platform. Yeah. But when you get to the size of something like Google, mm -hmm. I don't know. If, I don't think it's ethical anymore. Well, yeah. I, I, I don't think, well, I didn't, th I don't think it's ethical. When you hold a monopoly place, on, yeah, that's, when you, that's what I was going to say. It's a, what you're trying monopoly. to say is if you hold a monopoly on information that you shouldn't be allowed to. Yeah, probably that. That you shouldn't be allowed to censor it. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I think so too. Yeah. I think that there should be some level but of regulation. You should when probably you hold, remove your fucking bias. You hold a monopoly on information. You shouldn't be allowed to censor it because that is in effect. And, and the government should step in, in that case, because uh, capitalism is great. And then sometimes Sometimes it's not. This is one of those situations where you've allowed capitalism to completely dominate an entire industry. In fact, the most important one, in my opinion, right. which is information. Right. Yeah. And then you're going to do nothing about it when they say, ah, we don't have any information about that. And the information we are going to give you is going to show you how big of a piece of shit Trump is. There's, yeah. there's yeah. absolutely no difference between Google picking and choosing based off of personal opinion what you're allowed to receive. And yeah. there is an electricity monopoly saying mm -hmm. that your neighborhood, because we don't like you as a person, you guys don't get electricity. Like it's the exact same blockage in the system that was the reason they instituted the anti-monopoly uh, clauses in the, in the government you know what i mean yep like rockefeller and all those people exposed the ugly but like underbelly of capitalism mm. and google just happened to be the monopoly on information but yeah. it's, it's totally fucking ludicrous that yeah. they can just sure and because it, it's like i don't know what the statistics are i'm just gonna keep saying 86 percent for everything but it's, it's like everything is hosted on google, google servers and stuff you know like if there's no. no they have a if you go to DuckDuckGo or any of those other websites that are supposedly mm. like circumnavigating it they still just they run through google. google it's yeah. all from google stuff yeah. well it's google uh it's the alphabet servers right and it's also um i don't mean like alphabet come alphabet owns google you, you know that yeah. that's the parent okay. company it's yeah. the parent company yeah. so AWS actually has like a significant footprint in the data storage uh, industry as well. So AWS is Amazon. Oh, yeah, Amazon Web. I, I thought it was Arctic Weapon Systems. <laughs> <laughs> Arctic Weapon Systems. No, Amazon mm -hmm. Web Services. I think it is. They own a significant. They have a significant footprint in servers. So it's like if Amazon were to shut down, it would a significant eighty six percent of the country would shut down. No, I'm just kidding, but, but a very a, a very large portion. Eighty six percent of suburban white women would shut down. Yeah. If, like, if Amazon like closed its fucking doors yeah. today and said, "Ah, we're just going to turn all these servers off," uh, it would uh, it would cause an it would probably cause an international fucking crisis. But um, imagine like same thing. Imagine if Amazon was just like, you know what, we don't like your political views in Alabama, so we're not going to send to Alabama anymore. They do it, that. It would be immediately. Wait, what do you mean they do that? They, they do that. They fucking do that. One hundred percent. I mean, they kill. Like, I can't call order QA space. And there, stuff, there right? are there are optics and products that I can't order into California that are that are not even like they're completely unregulated products, and I cannot get them in California. Really? Yeah, yeah. It says this product is not allowed in your state, even though it is. They won't allow us to sell CCW holsters to Washington because Washington re like did something with their um what they do so, uh, the, the the concealed carry laws. It went to a May issue, right? Not a shall issue. It, oh yeah, they went oh from a God. they went from May issue. They went from shall issue to May issue, and I can't send holsters to that state anymore. That's wild, dude. Yeah, That's not even wild. holsters. Completely unregulated because Amazon, like, legitimately, this is not a plug. I, I promise you, this this part of this is not a plug. This is why when things happen, you guys, like to to those of you listening, look for opportunities as difficult and as as big of a mountain as it may be to climb what we're doing right now is building a marketplace that is the two a pro.com we're building a marketplace and the reason why i have no problem talking about this is because it is a nonprofit. 100 percent of the uh, profit that's made from this company gets donated back into the two yeah. a it is a way for us to cr establish and create a free marketplace to not allow Amazon to fucking dominate anymore. So people can send their products into to the two April warehouses. They can there could be the ship. You know what I mean? We will not regulate fucking product. I don't give a fuck what it is. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. I mean, as long as it's not like cocaine, you know, I can't you know, gotta keep it open. No, I mean I don't you give get, a shit. Trafficking gay stuff here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, fucking dildos okay. are fine. Like I don't give a fuck. I mean, you know what I mean? And on the other hand, I'm not going to regulate like blue haired wigs or like um what do you, uh what do liberals use? Um Dildos, dildos. They use dildos. <laughs> what do they have? Do they don't they have a thing like quinoa? Know, quinoa. Man, they have 
quinoa. I don't know what you're getting at. I, what I'm like, getting at is like Republicans, we've got guns, and like you yeah, can't sure. can't buy guns on Amazon. What would I attempt to regulate? Rape for, whistles, uh, tissues. <laughs> <laughs> rape whistles tissues yeah. what are some other products that we could ban from 2 april that liberals couldn't buy uh, that i won't do because it's a free marketplace honestly can we switch the rhetoric from liberals to yeah yeah yes to, to, to left to, to left or democrats yeah, yeah, yeah the okay. reason i, I know say that, i know you know, know why know. i'll say it for you guys if you google yeah. the actual political definition yeah. of like yeah. libertarians and yeah. liberals our yeah. founding fathers were, were libertarians yeah. and liberals yeah they were Take care of you, yourself, and your own, and fuck the government. Kind of like calling it a democracy instead of a constitutional right. republic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, words matter, dude. I love yeah. that we always like end up yeah. back. Like we we always just come back to the same fucking place. Like no matter it always is. Yeah, the conversation. Yeah. Like it's, yeah. it's always back to like, hey, it's yeah. up to you. Can, uh, let's get a f list of products that we could ban for liberals. If you guys, uh, sorry, Democrats, um, <laughs> right when we talk about it. Um, yeah, put it, put it, put it down in the comments if you can. Take uh, a pause. Take a pause. Think for about think thirty-five seconds. Because it's hard. It is. It's, Do they it's have hard a thing? To, I'm hard. I'm hard. <laughs> um, did it, uh, oh, oh, electric you know cars? What, you know what a fucking thing is? Electric cars. Those stupid backpack leashes for your kids. Yeah. That's that's a fucking. That's, that's a for thing. sure a different. Now I don't know what we're calling them because I was going to say liberal like four times. Yeah, I know. Like, I know. Um, <laughs> Liberaches. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Lunat and, Lunat and Liberace was gay. It's perfect. perfect. Um, Liberace would have enjoyed a backpack leash for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I no doubt. What else? Isn't it is it fucking this hard? This is difficult. It is incredible. It's almost like they're just humans. Because if you're like, hey, what do Republicans <laughs> like? Repu it's, what it's, it's like they're just like me. <laughs> <laughs> what do Republicans like? Like, oh, you know, beating okay. their wives, beating their wives, racism, flags, <laughs> American flags. <laughs> Everybody loves dildos. Oh, uh, guns, ammunition, the LGBTQ flag. Oh, yeah, it would be like us banning the LGBTQ or flag. Yeah. <laughs> I can't get an abortion on Amazon. Oh, you can get it on Amazon. Sure. I mean, you just can't get it on the two-way pro site. You know, the be, you know be interesting. <laughs> there's there's a bunch of these companies that are starting to sell in like the the really like deep enclaves of like liberalism now, like in Canada. Democratism. Like the, democratism. <laughs> the Brachism. whatever we're going with. <laughs> there's a bunch of companies that are selling like um, do-it-yourself suicide pods. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, oh shit! There's like a ton of them. Are you, are you not know what I'm I know. About? I know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. I think it, it is only like it is only a matter of time until you can order your own suicide. I'm pretty sure Canada is starting sure. to do it, and yeah. places in Europe Can are. Canada, there, there's there's a place in Europe that has one that's like a one stop shop, and they're gonna put it on the side of the road. So you'll go in, you'll literally fucking feed your money into it like an ATM. Literally, yeah, the fucking in. Futurama episode. Yeah. Can I give a shout out right now to uh, you know who King Trout is? You know who? Yeah. yeah. That I love you, Connor. Fucking that, love you, boy. Dude, I, I'm like kind of getting teared up just thinking about it. He had this, uh, he had a post. I'm like thumbing through. Anytime I'm in a bad mood, I'll go to his. It sounds like this is going to end with him having used a suicide pod. Like, do you know something? No, 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 no. <laughs> so, but he, so sad. No, but he. He did uh, get on spirit. Anytime, anytime, I'm, dead. <laughs> anytime I'm in a bad, anytime I'm in a bad mood, I, I. When you were used to make content, I used to go to oh. your page. <laughs> but, it's been uh, a rough uh, couple of weeks, all right? <laughs> okay. oh. But I used to go to your page. I always started my day with you. You know what I mean? I'd like go in, so what, what's Mad Minute doing? It made, I, I loved it. Because yeah, you have very inspirational. Fire you the f up for the day, yeah, man. It would fire me up for yeah. the day. Your, your content was very inspirational, motiv motivational. If I'm feeling down, I watch, um, I'll, I'll watch King Trout. If you guys don't know that, just fucking find him. He's on IG. And if I'm feeling like really like gay, I watch Nolan's content. Fair. Yeah. So I was there and I was laughing, scrolling, laughing, scrolling, laughing, scrolling. And I get to, he had this, like, he said, uh, he, he, he was just talking about suicide, you know? And, and I was like, Ooh, man, getting heavy, get, getting heavy. <laughs> well, no, at first I thought it was going to, he was going to, cause he kind of like smiled in it and then he paused and he fucking got choked up and, you know, I think Oof. he I mean, cut the camera before the tear fell, uh, but he was talking about call 988, you know what I mean? And, you know, actually get some help. And he said he's been, you know, he's been affected by people who have taken their own life that is in his life. And it was just profound and impactful. And with that, I wanted to ask you guys, what is your opinion on uh, assisted suicide? I think it's I think it's the death of fucking humanity, man. It's the death of. You're never gonna say take firearms companies, right? Mm -hmm. We're we're all well aware that like the leading like fucking eighty six percent of gun crime, right? <laughs> but we're all well aware that like white we were talking about it yesterday, right? Like yep. white males shooting themselves is the highest rate of death by a firearm, right? Mm -hmm. And we just gloss over when we talk about firearms. Right. 
if you have a society, it's it's my it's my intrinsic issue with abortion. Also, mm-hmm. I, I don't I am not the arbiter of what you should do with your body. Right. Right. So like I don't think that the government should be the arbiter of what you do with your body. Right. But if our society is a society that is obsessed with killing its unborn and liquidating its old and useless, Mm -hmm. dude, that is not a society that is bent. Like we're not going, we're not moving forward in the future. We're we're just destroying both ends of who we are. Right. If, if we are a society that is, is, I don't want to say emulating, that's not the right word. We're, we're glorifying death in some very strange way. Like, <clears throat> taking the meaning out of it yeah we, yeah we should not be okay with murdering unborn children regardless of like your feelings about abortion and all the other stuff like at the end of the day like you're deleting a life yep why, it's a unique genetic yeah, code. why the the fact that we would allow anyone to profit off of the death of other people the door that that opens is just pure evil there's no there's nothing on the other side of that door that's positive right because then if you can allow like your own like i can make the decision to get into a suicide pod and kill myself well then can't my kids make the decision for me Right. So like what where does what the fuck is murder anymore? Right. Well, you just take is, me to court, take it, take my rights away and then pushing the line a little bit. You you move you start moving the line. Yeah. It's so if the, if the line is yeah, it, it is anti human. So yeah, what, the way I look at it is this, right? So if you're just making it incredibly easy yeah. to offer yourself, if you're like, ah, if all just I gotta do is do this thing, I could just call up my doctor yeah. and he's gonna give me a shot and I'm gonna be able to take my life and I could do it painlessly and I can get the fuck out of here without any you know, mm-hmm. without any insight or, uh, into the impact that that's going to have on uh, it's, to, it's to the rest obvious. of the society and your loved ones, then wouldn't we be encouraging it? So if it's not allowed right now, if if you if you start pushing the the pods, for example, it's like okay, well they could do it themselves. They're just yeah. buying the equipment. Well, then 10 they years, could do it themselves 10, already. Ten years, I know. You but know, but like, if they do it ten years from now, like you think about ten years from now, it's a whole boil the frog. Then it's like, well, they could buy all the equipment to do it. And then why shouldn't we just allow doctors yeah, to but, do it for it? Like what yeah. I'm saying is like apply, apply, like once you have money behind it, now there's marketing with it. So now you're now taking a poop pushed. and you're scrolling through your social media right, and your right. social media is, is In- encouraging a, you. There's a whole brand built behind this company about new sunny, brighter days tomorrow on the other right. side of this journey. And right. now there's a religion that gets built around it, right? Like yes. all liberalism and leftism. That's a very good point. Everything on the right, like politics in and of themselves have become the backbone religion of the United States. We kind of put the Bible on the shelf and picked up politics as our religion as a country you know that's a really good point it's because really you, you make yeah because then there would be marketing around right. encur- encouragement right. of suicide and that's that's and then i would be making discouragement for it. right <laughs> and then, right it's just and anti-human from the jump tacticon like, would have a brand new product i now. got you to buy flip-flops i think i could get you to buy a suicide listen if you come to the two alpha gun shop i have an entire product line of su- <laughs> well, not we don't need the pods. I have devices inside oh, of, every, of the gun shop. You know, I, I, I think I want to throw something in there. I think <laughs> there's all sorts. I, of- I like where you were going with that on the on the the marketing push. It's going to start going to social media. One for me, it's like if you're going to end your life, first off, I don't think anybody really should. But I think that last determination factor is like, okay, this was hard enough that you fucking did it. Like yeah. that's hard. Yeah. Like. Yeah, right. I think I like think how many some of us have like been here to cut been, their wrists. Yeah, and they just can't. Like they start and then they realize that like, like right. there's a there's a great documentary where they interview people that have like tried and survived, like legit tried mm-hmm. and survived. Yeah. And yep. every single person on the documentary is like, my first thought was I made a mistake. Like they swallowed all the pills and they were like, oh fuck. Yeah, fuck. You know? Yeah, you get into that fucking. Did thing, you did you, you think it? the company that makes it is going to give you an escape button? No. We will try to find it and link to it. Hopefully, we'll try to find it. There is a interview of a man who jumped off i think it was the golden gate bridge oh and he survived and yeah. he survived yeah, yeah and when they asked and he he survived but he it was like the whole obviously way down, he was like fuck fuck fuck, fuck yeah fuck. he yeah. said i realized as soon as i jumped that i should not have done what i yeah. did yeah and then i got to the bottom but it, the, the story gets crazier so he gets knocked out he would have drowned but like a fucking seal or a like a walrus or something some sort of sea creature some sort of secret i think it was a seal like picked him up or like kept it like Went up and like afloat. nudged him up for a, long enough for like a fucking boat to come over and pick him up out of the water. Right. Dude, it's a crazy story. The God and the universe, then, something. It's yeah, real. broke like it's a billion bones in his body and yeah, whatever. But it's, you know, he realized the second he jumped, he's like, the second my feet left, mm-hmm. you know, and it's, the gravity kicked in, I realized I shouldn't have done this thing. And he's now he's a proponent for people just getting help and not yeah. doing it. A well, guy that actually like was and should have been dead. The, the next thing that I want to go into is like, 
how did we get to this point in a society where people are feeling so alone, so ostracized, and yeah. so just it's right. intentional, yeah, so it's intentional, so distraught and destroyed that they feel like their only escape is to kill themselves. Yeah, yeah. like yeah. why is there not a larger, not only a support system, but just how how is life this bad? It's, yeah, it's only the most like developed Western. It's the countries that have kind of turned themselves into a corporate entity the way the United States yeah. is. About like, 86% of countries. Yeah, it's about 86% of countries. When you accept the fact that the United States is a corporation and it's a business, when you pay your taxes, right. you're filing your expense report to the government, like that, and when you start viewing the US as a as a corporation, the the human population then is like it's not necessarily the workforce. I feel like it's like almost the product. We have done a really good job of saying, like, we don't need any more people, so abortion is good. And all these old people that aren't able to work and they're not really consumers, they're not adding into the corporation. Right. So we're we're creating ways to get rid of people that aren't just working and consuming. Right. And that that is that's so insanely anti-human. And that's why we're blowing the family apart is when you can blow you can convince all the women that like they're actually trapped and enslaved at home. They need to go work. What you did was you cut everybody's wages in half. Right. You created more workers who put have more output with less less cost overhead for your labor. Like it's all just a balance sheet for the corporation that is the country. And when you blow that out with these fucking suicide pods, it's just a way of them not paying retirement benefits, essentially. You know? Right. It's just saying like you're past the point of really being a consumer and you're past the point of really adding to the society. So we're going to encourage you not to be here anymore. When the way we we do it right now is nursing homes. You can right, go, right, right across the border in Mexico, as their as the elders of their family age, they live in the home and they're taken care of by the family. When you're single, you, you don't stay fucking, with you your don't, family you don't until you're married. Off your, uh, exactly, your grandparents, and that means that there's yeah. there's a wealth of knowledge in the family, and there's the older kids are growing up and staying in the home until they're married. Like there's a knowledge transfer between people. The U.S. fucking lost that shit. Yep. Yeah, right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce an interesting statistic. Eighty six percent. What? I'm gonna I'm gonna introduce an interesting statistic. Eighty six percent. What? Eighty six percent. That's eighty six percent. So the suicide rate, uh, the current suicide rate in uh, the United States is uh, sixteen point one per hundred thousand people. Okay. Okay. Now this is to your point that in a developed country where we should have the resources yeah. to mitigate suicide and help people. Through this, dream, right? right? By calling, if you didn't hear me before, uh, 988, you can call 988 and get help if you have absolutely nobody to talk to. Um, so it is me, uh, 16.4 or 16.1 in the United States and in Afghanistan, right? A, de- a, a third world country by all standards, yeah. a developing economy at, where they at have best. Suicide bombers. Where they, yeah, this <laughs> includes suicide bombing. It's a shithole yeah. country, okay? <laughs> uh, about a third. So 6.4. Wow. Six point four and per per hundred thousand. That's people. That's a third if, from a from a per capita standpoint. That's, per hundred thousand. That's an entire society built around a religion that values death. They live to die. Right. Right. We live to retire. They live to die, and their suicide rate's still less than ours. Well, I think yeah. I think part of that, Thanks. to your point, is like <clears throat> most people think a midlife crisis is around fifty years old. Right. Yeah. No. The average life expectancy is about like seventy eight. Yeah. Like 78 to 75. Do you think millennials yeah. are starting to go the other way? Really? Yeah. Millennials will be the first generation to show a decrease in life expectancy. So Dude, it's it's happening. And, your you midlife know. is around 30, 35. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Like, Great. and so if midlife is about 30, 35 and you retire at 60, 65 and your life expectancy is 78. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. Yeah. But it's that whole retirement period. You're a drain on society. You're mm-hmm. not adding to it. You're not adding the labor force. You're not growing anything. You're not building anything new. You're not inventing And anything. you're pulling from Social Security, right. dog. On the balance sheet, you're yeah. not an asset anymore. So right. suicide pods or right. nursing homes. Right. It's just fucking, it's terrible. And you, like Alzheimer's and all that stuff, it's all from our food. Like Yeah. Aluminum foil. It didn't exist in the 70s. Mm-hmm. They think it's related to sugar. Like Yeah. You know, that, you know that some doctors are calling Alzheimer's type 3 diabetes. No shit. Yeah, yeah, the same chemical that breaks down the excess. So you have a sugar rush, and then your body builds all the insulin, and right. then there's excess insulin. The chemical that your body makes to break down the insulin also breaks down like the neural pathways in your brain. Yeah. So alcoholism, like the weak brain. It, I was just going to say alcoholism. It's from the chemical it, yeah. just eating your brain. I mean, right. it's also from the alcohol, like eating your brain. eating your brain. But <laughs> right, yeah. that's why you get it faster than just eating dog shit. But if you're yeah. like fat and unhealthy, just expect to have Alzheimer's. Like you're headed down a road. You're headed down a bad, bad road. Which you can change right now. Right now. And it's that's not a shameful Literally thing. Literally, just stop yep. eating things in a box or a bag. Yep. Shop on the outside of the grocery store. Don't get anything from the inside. And if it's frozen, don't. Just don't. 
Yeah. Just don't. Yeah. I mean, everything you're going to get from the outside of the grocery store is also super bad for you, but yeah, you don't really have any food that's clean. Wash your fruit. Yep. 100%, dude. The amount, the amount that, like what McDonald's, yeah. McDonald's potatoes have to sit for like two weeks before anybody can go in the building with them. Mm-hmm. That's Looney Tunes, dude. Well, we're feeding that to our kids. It's, and it's just absolutely bonkers. Like we were talking about the <laughs> FDA last podcast and it's like, <clears throat> it's like raw milk is illegal, but you can put, um, you can put uh, drain cleaner in Lucky Charms. The, okay. So this is, I feel like we can come back to where we started with this, with the censorship. Mm-hmm. Why is there censorship around things like that? Right. Dude. Why is there such control around what we say and what we do when the people that are making the censorship are clearly fucking anti-human? They're clearly anti-us, and they get to tell us what we talk about, what we sell, what we do. Well, my we're just letting this ball slip through our fingers, man. Right. right. My my question is because like I think about this constantly. Like, what's the end goal, right? What's yeah. what's their end goal? Because they have the money, <laughs> dude. It's another. You got to watch Charles Schwab at the WEF February this year. He right. wants to get rid of population. Yeah, it's population right. control. It, I yeah. was about to say it's it, it always comes back to extinctionists. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just reducing, crazy, reducing man. the population in general. So right. that, yeah, no other animal on earth. No, no other animal on earth. The there's no one. lion. There's no lion. There's no ape. There's no. There's no other like inte- the dolphins. Right. Dolphins are arguably probably smaller than us, and they're not out there thinking like there's too many of us out here in the ocean. Yeah, we gotta nope. kill all these other dolphins. <laughs> no, no, they're definitely gay though. Yeah, they're real rapey. What's that? That's true. Yeah, dolphin rape. Dolphins. Google dolphin rape. <laughs> rape. Yeah. 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 Don't go down that route. Middle-aged <laughs> people that like they finally saved up and they made it to Cancun for the first time and they get penetrated by a dolphin. That's got to suck. Oh, dolphins rape humans? Oh, dude. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dolphins they will attack are you and lay it down, dude. dude. Yeah. You got dolphin. You really never Googled dolphin rape? No. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't want that in my I don't want that in my yeah. search history. Oh, it's yeah. going to attack you and like fucking hammer you against I mean, a boat or something. I haven't put it in Google. I put it into Pornhub, but I haven't put it into Google. Have you there was put it into Pornhub? Strange pterodactyl porn. Yeah. <laughs> Have yeah. you seen pterodactyl porn? That exists. What? what? Yeah, yeah. It's like a video of two dudes in pterodactyl suits. It's probably the funniest <laughs> thing I've ever seen, dude. They're fucking devil's triangle on this girl, and they're like, oh. <laughs> the whole time, it's the craziest video I've ever seen. Did that get served to you in the Pornhub algorithm? No, no, or? that was a, okay. that was in Afghanistan. And we had a buddy of my platoon that was he was <laughs> dude. He he always found like the strangest, uh, weirdest <laughs> videos, like movies, but also yeah. like the weirdest porn. Like, I don't think he was. He's totally, all, hey guys, check this out. Yeah. He wasn't totally like put together and like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Girl, why are you yeah. finding this, bud? Yeah. I had a dude that made me feel really gay in the military. And uh, let me explain. Um, <laughs> it's, it's just going to cut in the podcast. Yeah. Again, so. <laughs> I love that someone was like, so censorship. And we're like, suicide, <laughs> gay dolphins. Gay dolphins. Oh, this is not getting monetized. Yeah. Which I'll bring up in there's, a second. There's no fucking way that this would get monetized. Yeah. Um, so we were, we were talking about, uh, you know, the, like the type of like porn that we watched and, uh, and he said, he, he was like, well, what kind of porn are you like? And I was like, I don't know, just like traditional dude on a chick, you know? And he was like, oh dude, it's so gay. And I'm like, why? And he was like, there's a dude. Yeah. You're looking and at I was dude, like, what are you watching? He was argument. like, he said pure lesbian porn. And I was like, really? And he was like, well, yeah, dude. Like, you want to see another guy's dick? And I was like, I mean, no, well, no, no. And he was like. Well, you do because you just said that you watched yeah. like regular yeah. porn, and you'll click and away I, from like the little dick. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah if, you, I if you're scrolling, I, along, I you're like, like, like no. I squinted down. Yeah. You know, dude, dude, the, like that one that doesn't do he, anything for that me. That doesn't do anything King, for you. <laughs> that, that you know the Tiger King documentary yeah. when he was yeah. like, well, you know, when you're watching porn, like you don't watch the little dicks, do you? And he was like, <laughs> you ain't that straight, are you? Like, <laughs> you ain't fucking fair point, dude. I was watching my wife, and I was like, that's that's a fucking solid point. I got no rebuttal. Well, yeah, if dudes are the only ones watching porn and they've realized that the demand for the larger penises is already there, yeah. then there is something to be said something about to be said dude want dudes yeah. wanting large penises. It's, because it's if, just, it, if the demand was on the other the, end of it, yeah. then they would just get the majority of the population who has average yeah. or below average yeah. sex penises. Yeah, exactly. Not exactly. the, not the point one percent not, that's uh, got the nine inch. What's his name? Hunter Holmes or whatever his fucking name was. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Mel Peter Peter Holmes was a serial killer. H H H Holmes. Did oh did I tell you? What, so I used to work at Olive Garden, right? Man, what and, the fuck are we talking about? I know. No, no. It, it has it's directly related to pornography. So I, <laughs> what do Olive Garden and porn have in common? Jacob Let me, <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you. So I took this bread. I took the Olive bread Garden. stick, right? Yeah. <laughs> Let me tell no. you about the gnocchi. Right. We have we've got name mm-hmm. tags. Well, occasionally like the, the little stickers on your name tag came off. So they kept the 
uh, the label printer for your name tag in the back in case you needed to print a new name tag for yourself. Uh. Yeah. So we got a hold of the little label printer one day and all of our, it was John Holmes. Yeah. Yep. John so, Holmes. Yeah. So we would, all of our, we, no, <laughs> me and all the mail servers changed our names to uh, L Steel. Uh, oh, just uh, different porn star names. J, uh, R. Jeremy, J. Holmes. <laughs> like oh, all hey, the middle what? servers had. Ron Jeremy's got a weird little dick, and he did great. Uh you must have a massive dog. Like it's not. But no, it's not but like no, it's yeah. It's I feel pretty, like can pretty pretty we pop up? Can we pop up a Ron Jeremy <laughs> dick? On the, <laughs> oh man, I can't yeah. it out. But this I'll is why you should do a Patreon. <laughs> Tacticon uh, Elite but after dark. I, I, <laughs> fucking Christ. It just illuminates like a, a time for the worst on the screen. How do we go from suicide to porn? Real fast. I mean, really fast. Well, you healthy. said there was a dude in Afghanistan that made you feel real gay. <laughs> yeah, but what? I don't understand the segue. Doesn't Speaking matter. Speaking of segue. We started with let's talk about yeah. censorship. <laughs> you want to know something ironic? Welcome about, to the 2 a yeah, chaos cast. The <laughs> do you want to hear something ironic about the segue? You know the little two-wheel device that on wheels? Leftists also buy segways. They do. That's some. That's one thing they buy. I didn't know what we were. He was like, "You would tell you speak about segways." The guy. What we're talking about. The guy that invented segway died on a segway. No shit. Fell off a cliff. Yeah, he was on a trail and he was trying to like what a, a fucking he, loser. He, he he was the story was he there was a lady that was like walking on the path and it was a single path and so he he got off the trail a little bit uh, to make way for the her. Trail gave way. And the trail gave way. No shit. Yeah. Yeah, Man, love what you do because it and really fell is. off a cliff. Yeah. yeah, that's a super true yeah. saying. Yeah, shit, shit. Do what you love. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't. I didn't think you could die on the Segway. No. Who needs a suicide pod? Yeah, you no. just get a Segway. It's <laughs> just, just a Segway. It's it's not even like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you just got to lean into the decision you made. <laughs> My life is Segway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not letting it go, Charlene. <laughs> Look at me now. <laughs> I this mean, is zero 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 one. Like, like, why didn't you think you couldn't just jump off the Segway so you didn't fall off the cliff? Pause yeah. for a second. I think dude, it was it was it was an off road like prototype I for the Segway. Tried, he tried to dude. Yeah. yeah, yeah, probably was. He was probably like, I can, I can make it. I can get back yeah. up here. Look what do you think his last thought was? God damn it! They're gonna write a bunch of posts about this. <laughs> Comment sections could be ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they should make a shirt of this. Like, I would think his last thought is. Fuck that bitch. Yeah. The one that he got off the trail yeah. for. God damn it. <laughs> Why was he a fucking yeah. dog on a leash? What <laughs> are you doing out of the kitchen? No, I don't know. I'm just joking, joking, yeah. joking. It's a sexist joke. Tacticon. Mm. After dark. After dark. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. We're gonna, uh, you you're going to have to make a Tacticon after dark because I feel like <laughs> my presence in this just immediately fucking runs us off. The All floor. right. Since we're already demonetized, this would be a good, a good time right now to bring this up. We have a new shirt design. Have you seen it? No. No. Okay, I want to show you. We're not I'm, putting it in here. I'm gonna. Why? Sorry, man. I can't I'm, put this nope. shirt design up on the screen. Nope. Why? We are staying 20 feet away from that. Well, you can stay 20 feet away from it. I'm putting it up on the website. That's a terrible idea. Wait, let me see it. It's a fucking horrible idea. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> 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 you're not gonna no i'm staying 20 feet away from that you want to do it link it link in the description that is so nope. much more aggressive than like <laughs> you want to like i had a similar kind of idea we're all we're all we're all men of the same cut so we have a pretty similar okay. creative process i guess but like that is way more aggressive than what i was going for. <sighs> not touching it no I love it. nope yeah sorry man i can say it though without describing it i won't get into the details of what it looks like i will just say that the t-shirt says Make convertibles great again. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. And you can, and you, can uh, you know, fill in the blanks, I suppose. Did you get it? <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Okay. No, I'm here for it. I like that. I, I, I honestly, I think that the, I think that not just from like a monetary. Discord product, Discord product only then? Nah. You can find it in the Discord. So it's join the a, Discord, and I will I will get it to you in the Discord. A, have someone knock on it's your door. A, it's a spicy treat. Question: Why you bought that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. but I, dude, I, I, it's not just like a monetary thing from like a business standpoint, but mm -hmm. I think like it's a worthwhile endeavor to push back. To push yeah. back. It's free. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a pushback. Like yeah. when we were talking about um, specific words earlier, right? Like, it, why are we Why are we allowing our no one can take your freedom away from you. No. You willingly give it up, and we have given up a fuck ton. Mm. You know? I mean, like, even just this. Like, 
this is this is your business. This is how you you market your business. This is you know what I mean. And like we're so worried about what we say because it's not going to get monetized on YouTube. The view is going to get shut down. Like why are we? Yeah, this was not an issue that they dealt with. No, you know, thirty years ago. No, and I mean I guess be. to some extent. Yeah, there's only so many people that own TV networks and stuff. I I completely agree with you. And the comments might call me a cuck for this, but this that's entire fine. podcast is supposed to be about censorship. Right. Okay, so oh, so, so why oh, and, oh, oh, and but so you self-censored. Hey, so you heard it first. Why. Nolan is censoring the product that I've developed. Exactly. And let me tell you why. Okay. Because to exist in this world, to exist in this society that we're in, and exist on the platform we are to continue to spread our message, to continue to get out in front of people, we have to self-censor to stay on the platform to play the game because I don't like no-knock raids. And I like to keep our YouTube channel up. <laughs> that fucking shirt is a no knock. So rate. like, so like that. That's what I'm saying. That's like a no knock rate. The, shirt. the reason, <laughs> the reason you don't hear me say fuck every single time, and it cuts out in the audio, or the reason I'll cut things out of the podcast, or things like that, is because we have to play the fucking game. It's unfortunate, but that is what it is. That's true. Leaving YouTube is never been the answer. Yeah. It, the majority share of people on the internet watching videos is either TikTok or YouTube. Yeah. And so we need to stay on these platforms and we need to tell them to go fuck themselves while playing their game better. That's true. Now, I heard some of what you said you because out. my autism and my ADHD was uh, was kicking in hard. Yeah. I was thinking no knock raid, NKR. I want you guys just, if you're in the comfort of your own home by yourself, say NKR and say it 10 times oh. fast. All right. Moving on. Because <laughs> I was going to say it, I was about to say it, and I was like, I probably. I've been saying it in my head, and I'm not <laughs> clicking the dots. Am I too autistic for this? Because I, I was about gotta, to say, oh no, not great, and N K R, and then I said I shouldn't say that. My, my this was my thought process. Yeah. I shouldn't say that because it's going to sound like I said something else. Can you just say the word and I'll cut it out? No, absolutely, I will not say that word. That's blackmail right there. Yeah, I will not forever. say that word. It's it is the N word. With a hard R? In With a hard R. Oh. Yeah, you say it. And say I was like, because like, the whole goal was, I, I was like, I was going to say the acronym for, oh, no, not great, and N-K-R. And then I was like, well, I got to be careful about saying that. And as you were talking, because if I say it too fast, it's going to sound like something else. I wonder uh, and then many, I was like, oh. I want to know how many people. You know and you that's what said? I was thinking about. Uh, you, just, you just created a way for people to comment that like racial slur without like getting it flagged. That's what you just did. You just gave everyone on the internet a new Jeez. racial slur for the comment section. NKR. Uh, Activision's going to ban that one too. Yep. Yeah, right? <laughs> what did they ban already? Oh, so um, Activision, the creators of Call of Duty, have banned FJB, LGB, FKH, but they will allow FDT. So for those who of you who are not aware, that stands for fuck Joe Biden, let's go Brandon, fuck Kamala Harris, but... You can have fuck Donald Trump. It's crazy that they banned the let's go Brandon thing too. Because yeah. there's not like fuck Joe Biden. All right. It's okay. the president of the United States. Yeah. It's a kid's game. It's profanity. Like sure. you can make an argument. Right. Let's go Brandon is he misheard the crowd chanting mm -hmm. fuck Joe Biden. Right. That's the greatest. I that's know. the greatest natural <laughs> organic rebellion against power ever to happen in the country in my lifetime. And we've just did he mishear it or was yeah. it like no, hey, he was that like, also he was like, like 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 agreeing with no, no, it? No, right? it, it was uh, it was did a he, news reporter. No, but but did uh, he legitimately? Yeah, yeah, do you yeah, think yeah, he yeah, legitimately yeah, right. misheard it or do you think he redirected it? He might no, have just no, redirected no, no, it. it was, that, you're right. It's like a news reporter. It was a news reporter. I think they miss. I they misdirected it 100. Okay. percent They didn't mishear it. Yeah. Because yeah. I think it was at a NASCAR event, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. It was, it was at yeah. a NASCAR event. And the entire <laughs> crowd was yelling, Joe Biden. Yeah. Joe Biden. And, they're like, Let's go and you Brandon. can hear the crowd yelling. <laughs> and then it clicks in with their brain that they brought attention to the crowd. Uh, Let's go, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, wow. It was just such an organic thing. You know? I know. It was. It was. It's, it's, it's beautiful totally thing. insane, though, that, that that the makers of Call of Duty have decided that the issue with that platform and what people are voicing, like the way that people are voicing their opinion on that platform is the call signs. Yeah. Like that is not the issue. Like I was a kid <laughs> yeah. in the original Call of Duty servers. The issue is not the dude. call signs. No. There is a guy online. The original Modern fire. Warfare, dude. Is it yeah. the oh, That's where you grew up. Is yeah. it the 40 year old pedophile trying to rape you? Is that yeah, what it is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, man, I've been that guy. Like, where do you live, kid? You've been the 40 year old pedophile trying <laughs> yeah, to rape you? <laughs> at, at 15 <laughs> years old. No, I, this is like a couple years ago. I was playing oh, Warzone shit. with a bunch of my army buddies, yeah. and like our team had one like child, like a child kid on it. 
And we yeah. could just we couldn't stop. We were like, "What's your Snapchat? Where do you live?" <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Dude. And I got I like took my headset off between games, and my wife was like, "I don't know. I don't know if I like you. That might have been that might have been the downfall of things right Jesus. there, man. I changed her opinion about me that night. Drink a beer and play Call of Duty. <laughs> 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 Christ, dude. The the rule of thumb is either a never play Call of Duty or b don't let your significant yeah. other let you yeah, out your, here. Have your own space. Yeah. yeah. But like, it's such a good, that's like the best thing about Call of Duty is it's like such a, I don't know, like cathartic it's, experience where you can just internet, do whatever dude. the fuck you want. And it's great. That's like, what the internet's supposed to be. But then people take it too personally. I, well, uh, yeah. That's back to like the discord stuff from yesterday. Right. Like yeah. it's the internet, man. It's, it's like someone, it's like, it's like getting up and walking out of your house and someone is like written chalk on your driveway. That's like, fuck you, Steve. And you just like, <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> can't handle it. Like it's chalk, dude. Like not only is this going to, it's just extremely go temporary. Yeah, 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 it's it extremely is, temporary. Yeah. You can solve the problem yeah. and your name's not Steve. So yeah. keep that shit moving. You know? like, and people just, go. Yeah, that's so true. Dude, people want to be so mad about it. People want to be fucking important. Yeah, that's what it is. People that's want true. the. There's this yeah. awesome interview with a Nazi SS guy where they're like, they, they "Whoa, press him. what?" Yeah. <laughs> Stay on the stairs, bro. Jeez. But they, they pressed this guy. They're like, how he did you- He went from pedophilia to- uh, There was this awesome interview. Hey, was this thread. Thread. There's yeah. a threat of logic. But they asked this guy- <laughs> I've been the 40-year-old pedophile, too. There was this awesome interview with this Nazi SS guy. Segway. Yes. <laughs> born. But they, they asked Suicide. This, they asked this <laughs> SS guy. They're like, how did you, how, you, know, how did you guys convince uh, neighbors to turn, on their, to, to turn on their neighbors? Like, how did you convince like people that knew each other, that worked with each other? Like, how did you convince society to turn on their neighbors and friends? Yeah. And he was like, we didn't convince anybody to do anything. People climbed over each other to report Jews because they were that made them feel important. And it's such a profound, it's yeah. something we totally look over in history. We yeah, think yeah. that the Nazis were just these evil people that we could never be. Right. Yeah, they were just no. they were just every no, we could be, and they you know, wanted to be important. No, no, bro. You, we were that we, during COVID. Well, yeah. yeah. No, no, that's, yeah. that's exactly right. Like yeah. everyone, every yeah. the, all of all of the strife and bullshit that I dealt with in my job, all the reporting that happened on me was my friends. It mm -hmm. was the people that I worked with. It was people that I would have, you know, hung out with their family and their kids. And, yeah. But because it gave them a sense of importance to fire off some fucking email. Okay. I'm going to say something that is, that is really fucking important that I hope everybody really genuinely listens to. And this is not, I'm not trying to talk at anybody, but I think this is, it. this is important. What Hitler did throughout that time to gain, you know, the, uh, uh, the following that he gained and to gain the, the respect and loyalty that he gained was take the nationalist approach of, listen, our interest rates are going up. Yeah. We don't own anything. Oh, his message like, would resound it, today. Right. You know? Okay. So we don't own anything. Who owns the banks? Who owns the businesses? Yeah. We are being taken over by, Ju that was his message. Now I'm not saying it's okay, but you what I'm saying a... is people were like, yeah, like we're, we're in a suffering. His people were like, yeah, we're in a suffering economy. And there is a certain subset of people that own all the wealth. Because let's remember <clears throat> this was after world war one. After Germany is currently yeah. getting fucked it by was, everyone. It was getting, perfect, yeah. it's a perfect fourth right. turning moment too, because right. it was this age of debauchery and he yes. stepped in and was like, we're going, you are going to report on your neighbor if they're a drug addict or an alcoholic and right. we're going to fix our society. And that was the initial, that was and the initial plan for people to report on each other. And we're going to do it from That's the inside out. About COVID we are going to create COVID a military, which we, which they weren't allowed to have yep. uh, the treaty of Versailles, I think. Yep. Which was so, super unfair to them. Right. Exactly. So he's like, I'm going to rip up the fucking treaty of Versailles. Fuck the treaty. We're going to do the thing. So. We see that what the reason why I say this is important is because the rhetoric that's being pushed around right now is a very similar rhetoric when it comes to the border. Mm -hmm. I take mm -hmm. a stand. I do not want a closed border because I want them to quote stop taking my jobs. Yeah. And the more we push that, yeah. you want fucking racism in this country. Yeah. You want people to fucking yeah. you know start throwing fucking acid in the in the in the face of you know a, a, a Mexican. Uh, immigrant or yeah. whatever the fuck that people are doing. Remember the whole, like once you the, build, the, the China thing that was happening, man. like Chinese people were getting fucked up. Just dudes walking not, up and just not, clocking. Not just Chinese people, just Asians in Asian, general. Asian, yeah. Asians in general. The crazy right, thing right. with that too is they tried to make it like a conservative thing and it like wasn't, No, it wasn't, it was like in a major city. It was a black on Asian thing. Yeah. It was like yeah. a weird yeah. six month period. Like, what was that social programming? That was Dude, a super that, strange. That was thing. social programming. hundred percent. 100% social programming. So when you sit around and we got politicians 
active politicians, even in the Republican Party, to this fucking day that say that say dumb shit like, we got to close the borders. Yeah. They're taking our jobs. Dude, all you're doing what is jobs? creating a society of you fucking racism. You want to go pick strawberries for $3 an hour? That's no. not our fucking, that's not, that's not the fucking job I want. We wanted. close like, the border for security, yeah. for the security of for my family. Order, man. So that, for law and order, not because... I, and not because they're coming in and like breaking into cars. Yeah. It is not because they're coming in and even like murdering one human. We are like, in my opinion, we have to close the borders for the people that are coming in that are attempting to do way more nefarious shit that nobody is even thinking about. Like coming here, in, here. getting nationalized, like coming in through illegal means, yeah. getting nationalized somehow, joining the fucking military, joining the military to get nationalized, here, joining bro. the military for their citizenship, and then having an agenda because they were sent here by their government to dismantle it from the inside of our own apparatus. You know that if you're like chi of Chinese descent, you can contact the Chinese government. If you're not an outright immigrant from China to the US, if you just have the lineage, you can contact the Chinese government. I don't know the way that you would go about doing that, but you can get paid. You can just contact them and start reporting on like what your company does, like intellectual property theft. Like it's, it is the way that China operates. It is that thick. Just an average everyday it, person can turn themselves into a spy, essentially. Wow. I, I think it's super important right now, now that we just got off the uh, the Germany talk, that was not in defense of yeah. Nazi Germany. It's not no, in no. It's, it's saying, well, like, you no, should I, be, I, I clearly no, drew no, the parallel. No, 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 I know. I'm saying what yeah. he did was create an entire society who hated Jews. Yeah. And what's happening right now is creating an entire <clears throat> yes. society yeah. of people who are, yes. it's starting as a resentment. Right. It's the seed of resentment yes. that sprouts into fucking racism. Right. And eventually you get something akin to Nazi Germany. Well, now, it's it's what you see like on the Internet nowadays, dude, it, like all over the Internet. There are racists everywhere. And it's crazy. I hate using the word racist because it's such a buzzword now. Yeah. But, dude, there is people all over the Internet, super white supremacists, super black supremacists, Asian supremacists. All of it. Mm -hmm. And it's fucking baffling to me. Mm -hmm. Like we've, we've just tr we've just become so tribal. Yeah, it's unbelievable. Yeah. Like it's like and tribes will fight each other just the way every single time. And like the the whole course that you just went, how somebody would come over the border, get citizenship, join the military, all that. And I'm just yeah. I'm thinking I'm sitting here. I'm like, wow, this seems really fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why would you allow? Because the thing is, is that the most dangerous people that are coming in, most of the people that cross the border are genuinely trying to start better lives. Yeah. America yeah. wouldn't work if it wasn't. It, it was one of the things you saw during COVID when they were trying to close the border because of COVID stuff, which was equally yeah. stupid because it, it's, it's a whole different road to go down. But one of the, the one of the first groups to push back against some of the COVID policy stuff were like big time farmers and big time like corporations that rely on the limited visa work of people coming across the border and mm. just working temporarily. Yeah, Even right, some people that right. come and just work during the day and go home. Mm -hmm. America runs on the back of, I don't want to call it slave labor, but like, oh yeah, whatever we were talking about minimum wage in California, sure, sixteen yeah. bucks. Are the yeah. dudes picking strawberries in California? Are they making sixteen dollars? Uh, probably not. Like, yeah, probably not. They're getting you know, paid under the table, and they're, they're getting, getting paid under the table. And, and, and all the every money. Every construction company yeah. in the country wouldn't wouldn't make it if it wasn't for illegal yeah. labor. Like, and it was all these corporations that told the government, like, hey, if you take our essentially illegal labor away, we're gonna cr we're gonna cripple. And they were like, all right, and they relaxed on the border yeah. and all the COVID policies. Yeah, and it's I, wild, man. Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I think that all of the policies that are coming into play, like. If they're over here and they didn't get here through legal means and we're going to provide them fucking housing through government means and your tax dollars are going to pay for it. All that. You know, I do not voters. agree with it. That's we just can voters, dude. We, we can all agree that, that yeah. that's not okay. All those Whatever. programs are just to get you to vote Democrat. And they don't yeah. need you to vote Democrat every time. They just need you to vote once. Well, it's right. funny you say that. I was just watching, um, I was just watching Elon's interview with Don Lemon. Yeah. And he was saying that the census numbers, they count all people, not just citizens. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that if it got rid of the count of non-citizens, he was saying the house would lose. What are you right? Are you talking about the state of California? No, just like across the United States. Oh, I know the state yeah. of California that was one of the big reasons for the state of California was like, if you could count the heads, then you could print the ballots. It didn't matter how many legal voters you had, you could print the ballots. Yeah. It, he was saying that the democratic side would lose about 20 seats in the house. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Wow. California was set to lose like four or five, I think, or it was something significant of yeah. electoral college votes yep. right. because of the mass flight during COVID from California and right. they just backfilled it with illegal immigrants because it right. fits the head count. So the population stays the same. So like, yeah, the it, yeah. The fits the head count. Yeah, yeah. that makes it's sense. Such, dude, it's such a blatant on the face. They pumped in 20 million people and they sent them very coordinated to the right places to maintain their. Oh, their shit. It's all, I mean, it's all it is. 
And that's that's why the Democrats don't give a flying fuck about what the lifestyle is of the people that come across the border, how bad their journey to the border is. They don't care about the actual like suffering that they're creating. Yeah. As long as 20 million people get in, then they're good to go. Yeah. And they, yeah. they, they won't look down the road to realize the long term. They, yeah. They're they're just in pursuit of power right the fuck now because right, they're right. narcissists. Yeah. They don't have any ability to see cause and effect. They're just trapped in the right now. Yeah, and it is. I mean, it's a dangerous fucking route up here. Wasn't there something about the da- is it the Darien Pass? The da- dude, the Darien. Yeah. The da- I I really, really, really want to go to the Darien Pass because when you get the, there's been some people that have gone down and done some documentary work in yeah. the Darien Pass, right. and there's um basically everywhere that you go from like the footage I've seen, like the Porta Johns, any like any um like group collecting area, there's Democratic like voting booths. I don't know, like not propaganda. like propaganda. Yeah, I got it. Got like it, got it. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's the the Democratic Party is very intentional with what they're doing. Yeah, it's it's very. And I know that um, one of the things that I saw about uh, a guy, the reporter that went down there, that was attempting to interview uh, Chinese. Uh, well, Chinese are just chi- TikTok chi- is Chinese immigrants into that were going through the yeah. Darien Pass. They refused mm-hmm. to talk and they are, to anybody. You know now, anybody using... else was willing to talk, but the Chinese. If guys, you no. The, Why do you think Chinese that is? Because the fucking CCP fucking sent them there. Yes. How'd you get there? If you, you have the Chinese mean? TikTok, it's working like, you know how Waze will tell you like, hey, there's a police checkpoint mm-hmm. coming ahead? Right. The Chinese mm-hmm. TikTok is doing that. There's like an app portion of it that allows you to use a map and it will show you the checkpoints that you need to hit, weak points in the border. Uh, it gives you like step-by-step instructions on where to go, who to contact, who's the NGOs that will be helpful, who are the NGOs that won't be helpful. Yeah. Like it's a full step-by-step process to get yeah. into the country. That, and that's the biggest threat that we have with, with regards to immigration is we don't know like other companies' intentions. I mean, imagine if they supplant, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of Chinese nationals inside the United States and all sent from the CCP and they eventually get enough in here knowing that there could be a civil war looming. Civil war Dude. fucking potentially happens have because you-, you get a few states that secede from – the federal government or, or from the uh, from the republic because of this shit that Kamala Harris is about to do and then a civil war starts dude now they're already here yeah dude google they're already fucking google here. chinese owned farmland <clears throat> it's fucking beachheads dude they own like a massive chunk of north carolina like a like a percentage chunk of north carolina they probably own like more of it than like the state it's fucking crazy when you google the map of like what chinese corporations own Jesus. inside the united states yeah. there's a very intentional if They're doing I the same going, thing in the Caribbean. Yeah, if I was going to yeah. invade the United States, I would come in kind of where they are, like kind of low in the border, build my forces, and then I would push north basically up like like 81 into Washington, D.C. Yeah, yeah. They're completely if, – if they were going to have staged, pre-staged beachheads. Right, they, right, they, right. That is the property oh, yeah. that they have bought. They have yeah. also bought all the property around major military installations and stuff too, but then Shit. everything that's not around I, the military installation is that. a beachhead. And, and there, there's Chinese nationals that are crashing boats like up onto the surf in California and just running like across the beach. They're just ditching the boats and running across the beach. Wow. Is that just testing? Is that testing tides and testing response rates? And like, is that, right. that feels like a probe of the system. Right. All the electronic attacks were all the 911. The fire department I worked for, the 911 center has gone down multiple times and yeah. no one's talking about it. Why are the 911 centers from kind of middle Virginia through northern Virginia and Washington, D.C.? Why do they keep getting taken offline? Right. And no one... There's no explanation. There's no, for there's it, no yeah. CNN news report about any of that. Yeah, no one's covering it. It, it was like it was like uh, I want to say a couple, it's fucking coming. It was like a couple years ago. I want to say, but there were the massive power outages. Yes. Like power grids were going down yeah. because they were uh, somebody or something was hitting uh, the relay stations. Right. And they were taking them down very easily because all you have to yeah. do is hit that main transformer with a twenty two. Dude, imagine if you just turned them off the day they were supposed to vote. Okay. You know, just just. Just turn off the fucking stoplights in New York the day we're supposed to vote. Uh, something yeah, simple like yeah, that. And like yeah. and it's 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 so vague. We're on that a light switch, dude. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the scariest thing is we're on a fucking light switch. Yeah. Like uh we were talking about this a little bit uh yesterday. The like that personal comfort. Like the only reason we haven't hit a seventeen seventy six type of moment is because like you were saying, Starbucks, but people had to take care of themselves back then. Yeah. Like I don't think everybody really realizes how easy everything is right now and how easy it is to turn it off. Of course they don't. Did you see me? Like once I learned of this, uh, once I learned of Kamala Harris saying what she said about how I am going to come in and use executive power Mm -hmm. to remove people's Second Amendment privileges, I uh, the first thing I did today was put together a plan to go get, you know, 
like like you know that uh, you know I'm not going to say the the amount, but hundreds of acres of property in an undisclosed location, mm. so that I can. It, there's got to be, you know what I mean? I mean because I don't know if that's going to be available when people start realizing I need to get the fuck out of the city, right? 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 Like I didn't need to go somewhere close. I mean that. That could very well go away very quickly. And I immediately took action. That's why I fucking started pushing for it. I'm like, I'm selling my truck. I'm doing everything I possibly can yep. to get this fucking property because that may be the only place that we can go is that fucking high ground. To it's be the only to thing do. that's going to be worth anything, too. Yeah. If, the economy, right. if the economy turns off and the stock yeah. market isn't a fucking thing anymore, mm -hmm. which is just overnight in a matter of minutes. Mm -hmm. We're going to be neighbors. Your entire <laughs> yeah, one that's what I'm saying. All of your investments, like all of that stuff could just get deleted. Yeah. Everything that we consider to be wealth in the United States could disappear in the blink of an eye. I, the only thing that will matter actually matter yep. is who owns property right and i, I was going to i was going to use property. that's right and so i was going to use that as a uh, like like we talked about we were initially just going to use it as a training facility and maybe a you know a rally point but it for me now it's it's more of like that's just sustainable fucking yeah. you know just farmland it, it's just uh yeah. you know it's it's a sustainable it's, it's a sustainable farmland it's it's a place that we can like grow our own food and Imagine get some solar panels like and Carly Make and I are down to make that happen. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Like, it, it, like I, I realize we we sit here and talk talk all this shit, but the we talk <laughs> we, <laughs> we sit here and talk we talk a lot about hey you should do this you should go train you should blah 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 we but what you should do is just take the fucking action and get out there and do it right I, honestly and by and, any means necessary and like with training right? like it's not just like it's not just going to the flat range your ability to like hit targets and like all of your tactical stuff dude, yes that's, that's really good. But if you don't know how to make a fucking fire when it's raining, it. if you don't know how to grow some shit, like I don't know how to yeah. garden, right? No. That's a, it's a giant I hole. I don't know how to farm. Oh, right. boys, I got gotcha. you. Okay. I yeah. And like, I've all, like, I would not be like, uh, pumpkin yeah. seeds. It's, the, dude, if the we world, eat pumpkins. <laughs> if, the, if the world, if you turned off everything tomorrow and yeah. the world ended, the people right. that will survive will be the criminal organizations, whether it's street gangs, motorcycle clubs, whatever, because yeah. they, they already a system that exists without the rules. They so have they okay. their own little. And the fucking Amish. They have their own rules. Yeah. They have their own laws within their own system. They are, in effect, They're their by themselves, society. are a militia. Yeah. If you and turned so they, off the power right now, they would just be like, all right, well, we own, like whatever bike club is we in. We own the yeah. city. Yeah, we own, right. we own South LA now. Right. It's ours. Right, right, right. Yep. right. And oh, it's yeah. just overnight. The fucking Mayans. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. exactly. They're the one with the fucking. All it is is a community. The yeah. reason that they're able to say, yeah. oh, we own this now is not because they're all violent felons. Nope. It's just they're a fucking community. Yep. So you, it's not, you're right. not fighting with Steve. Yep. You're fighting with all of Steve's friends. Yeah. Well, <laughs> just have fucking friends, man. Buy yeah. some property, have some friends, learn how to grow a potato. Yeah. All right. That's right. That's, I think that's. It's community. fucking important. It's community, it's community and it's having friends. So we can, if, if you don't want to throw around the, the M word, you know, the militia word, yeah. right? Build a community. Build a community. That's what it is. Have it's you seen build a community, where... build friends, change that fucking no, dude, narrative. No, it's too so, communist. You, you, can't, you can't buy 100 acres and then everybody throw houses. Like, you can't buy, there's a, there's a great guy online that I watch all the time that's like, um, rebellious uh tax exemptions or something like that i think yeah. is his name on instagram but he explains in this really great video like if all of us wanted to buy uh 10 acres and put uh, tiny houses on it that is not allowed anywhere in the united states right there can only be one domicile <laughs> per like uh, r1 zoned property <laughs> okay but if you tacticon right if an if a corporation an llc yeah purchases that property well it's private corporate interest so the right. government can't fuck with it so you could build a subdivision out there move your entire community onto it and as long as it's owned through a corporation you're good to go okay so if you guys are gonna if you're gonna set yourself up if you guys are gonna set yourself up as a community then all of the leaders of each individual family mm -hmm. goes in together you all invest in the property and you buy it through a corporation you mm -hmm. set it all up in a trust under the corporation and then you have private contract agreements between everyone in there the government can't see the private contract agreements the bank has to agree to your private contract agreement as long as as long as the way that you will operate are in your bylaws, the bank won't fuck with it because it's private corporate interest. And yeah. you can put as many houses as you want to out there, no matter what it's zoned for. Yeah, you're good to go. Oh, I also, if you bury a body out there and you have a gravestone and a head yes. marker, it can never yes. be taken away from. Yes, you. that's true. Yes, that's bury true. your family on your own property. That's, that's true. Like you should Google that. You should look into it. That, that is do it the right way though. Property. Yeah, that's yeah. a fact. Yeah, yeah. You yeah don't, don't just don't kill somebody. Yeah, don't just throw Steve out in the back. Don't kill somebody. Yeah, don't yeah don't go kill somebody and bury a body. But if someone in yeah. your life has a suicide pod make sure that you you know get the maximum benefit out of their decisions yeah. yes so that way the government can never <laughs> take your land from you that's yeah. true yeah yeah yeah, 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 we learned yeah. that actually looking at the land we're looking at. Yeah. We learned that looking at the land. Do. Yep. This is all rich people do. They build their families into corporations. Look at the, the Bidens are like the perfect example. 
they're not a family. They're a corporation. The Clintons are another great example. The oh, yeah, Trumps yeah. Hunter Biden is literally example. on record going, talking yeah. about his father as a brand. Yeah. yeah. Talking about yeah. his family as a as brand. As a brand. Yeah. yeah. There, there is a, there is an we awesome, are the Bidens. <laughs> there's an awesome yeah, episode it's... of the Kardashians. You go way back in the show when, like, um, the kids are still, like, real young and stuff. Mm. And the, the what's the mom's name? Doesn't matter. The mom, asking the wrong the person. mom is talking. I know because my wife yeah. watches it. The, the, mom, <laughs> Chris. the mom gets yeah. in an argument with Bruce Jenner because yeah. she wants to Chris continue Jenner. going by Kardashian as her last name, and she wants the two younger girls to be Kardashians also. Mm-hmm. And Bruce is like, "But that's not their name. They're my kids. You are my wife. That isn't our name." And she's mm-hmm. like, "It's not about our family. It's about our brand." Mm-hmm. And yep. she, that's exactly mm-hmm. what it is. Yep. I'm pretty, pretty sure Chris is, yeah. Jenner made Chris. Yeah, that's I'm right. pretty sure she made uh, Kim make the sex tape. Oh no, yeah. She, I, this I'm is, pretty this sure is, she said This that. is pure conjecture and rumor. I've never seen anything to prove this, but the rumor that I have, have come to believe in my heart was that she was the one running the camera. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> I mean, she was fully aware. Like That was a very yeah. calculated it was a very calculated thing. That Wasn't that POV, though? Some of it was. I don't know. Honestly, I've never watched it. I kind of feel bad for Ray J, if I'm being honest. That dude has made two sex tapes and had two sex tapes leak. Both times were coordinated publicity stunts, and yeah. both of the women involved succeeded. Kim, Ooh. by far the most. Who was the other one? Um, do don't quote me. Her name, she's one of the one of the reality stars off of uh, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, I think. Oh, um, but Ray J makes a sex tape with her, and it like propels her on to the show for uh, okay. other seasons, and it, her life gets better because of he's it. Like, he's like good luck, Chuck. Totally dude. irrelevant. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Know, yeah. he's totally irrelevant. He like yeah. shows up in an episode where they're like arguing about legal stuff, and like no that's it. Like, shit, no one knows who Ray J is, but he's interesting. All those videos. So yeah. if I want to make it big in Hollywood, then all I got to do is fuck Ray J. I think you got to be a Kardashian. I think that's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fair enough. Yeah, Fair like enough. if you it, like once you build your family in a corporate. Structure, you can do crazy shit like rent your the people that already live in your home yeah like if i make my daughter an employee and then i have the employee company getaway uh for christmas my company pays me to rent the rooms out of my house for my employees to stay in (laughs) and you can pay your children a certain amount per month and then you can take that off of your taxes it's like up to 36 grand i think yeah yeah Yeah. 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 just that i had another dad at my daughter's school stop me he owns a business and he was like have you done this yet because yeah yeah. yeah. Once the they turn, I can't it depends remember the on the age. state. I think. Yeah. I think, th- like in Virginia, it's thirteen. Because I've been yeah. patiently waiting for my daughter to turn thirteen. I think it's. Uh, I think it's even uh, younger than that. At a, in California, I would assume so because his, his kids are in you know fifth grade or whatever. Right. So yeah, they're like ten years old. Yeah. 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 So I think next on like my agenda for learning something new is uh, sustainment, self sustainment. Mm-hmm. You know, just. Some just some some stuff, level of just the simple stuff, right? And it's like, like you were like talking for about. real, like potatoes. Yeah, like if you're gonna start growing, so I don't know, I don't know much about gardening, but I know potatoes are pretty fucking easy, and you can make yep. alcohol out of them. Which then immediately, if you know the end of the world, like I don't drink anymore, but if you were able to make potato alcohol, dude, that's a great commodity. Yeah, right, right. now, yeah. now yeah. you have something you can barter with. Now you, you have, have something. You have trading material. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. All right, so final thoughts. Stuff. We gotta wrap this bad boy up. Man, we did we stay on subject at all? No. No, yeah, we, absolutely not. I'm so we sorry. Didn't, That's okay. <laughs> we didn't cover censorship at all, did we? I mean, we kind of did. It's okay. We yeah. got a uh, material for the next podcast. <laughs> I, think, I want to throw a final thought at this because we we talked about the uh, we talked about Nazis and like the rise of that kind of thought process in Germany. Yeah. Yeah. It's been something that's been on my mind a lot over the last couple of years because the the basic game plan they used there was they convinced the majority that a very strange isolated minority was the oppressing factor. And right. the, the, that kind of chemical concoction is very much in the United States right now. We're all very concerned about the transgender movement. We're all very concerned with how that's interacting with our kids. And there is a growing part of the society that very rightly so is against that movement. But it's also taking a very small, very fringe minority and making it seem like they're oppressing the mass of the United States. It's a great starting point to build trains. And then when you add all of the illegal immigration into it and Trump comes out and he's constantly talking about you know, we're going to have the biggest mass deportation the world's ever seen. Dude, mm-hmm. once you build the trains, who else goes on the train? Right. right, we're, right. Oh, we're only going to deport violent criminals and cross-dressers and anybody that mm-hmm. doesn't get on board with what our thing is, right? Like, how right. fast does that fall off of a cliff? Not to say that Trump is anything remote. Like, I'm not trying to be CNN. I'm just saying, like, you should be conscientious of every actor. You should be conscientious of the things that Trump says, even though we're yeah. all kind of on that train. Sure. Yeah. There is a lot of road markers that we're going by that are yeah. very similar. 
Yes, Mike. Absolutely. There's a lot of parallels. Yeah. We have a, if you guys haven't seen that podcast, we, podcast. <clears throat> it was one of my favorite podcasts. It didn't get a whole lot of views for obvious reasons. YouTube did not push that. Yeah. And it, com- it was YouTube completely. YouTube did not like us no. comparing the yeah. current United States to 1938 uh, <laughs> not, Austria. Yeah. I mean, it's dead, it's dead no. on, and It's it, debauchery. It's, it's the, the exact same thing. Of, yeah. But if you get, if, if you're listening to this and you haven't heard that, just pop over to that podcast. I'll pop up a picture yeah. like here. Yeah, because it's, it's interesting. There's there's a lot of parallels between, you know, 1938 Germany and the Austria. United, and, uh, Austria and the, yeah, 1938 Austria and the United States right now. It's, it's like it is like, eerily, eerily similar, and it makes you kind of sick to your stomach to think about it. It's yeah. one of those, like, hard gut checks, because we all watch the documentaries, we all read the books, and we all picture ourselves as, like, oh, we would have helped Anne Frank, but, like, if, have you seen if the you don't, of the actual well, rallies and stuff? Like, and the mm-hmm. whole idea was just rebuild Germany, rebuild masculinity, rebuild our country, like... Didn't fucking know any better. Fuck, They dude. weren't up like, there like, hey, we're gonna do all the evil shit that they yeah. did. No, it yeah. was a positive fucking well, message. They didn't, and, they didn't well, hide the ball, right? Like, when you start reading Mein Kampf, like, he's right out of the gate with, like, the the Jew the Jewish problem like we need a solution to the Jewish problem like he didn't hide the ball but like nobody actually pays attention to what these people do that, that's no, what that's but it's the same thing the it's propaganda. like we need to solve now they won't say the word they say we need to solve the immigration problem right. but we need to solve the problem of anybody who's not American in our country yeah. and which leads people to dude this is divisive in yeah. any way you fucking yeah, cut it's divisive. divisive do divisive. we need a closed and regulated border 100% like do we need to regulate who gets in here of course we do now you have but, 20 million wild cards in the country you need to just mm-hmm. let concealed carry be a fucking thing yeah like the supreme court that, that, you can't just start like, deporting well, the entire fucking country no because how would you draw the what do you yeah, draw the fucking it's subjective. line on? how do you what do you draw the line how do you find out where these people are who they are you have neighbors and when you our neighbors and, and when you fuck, put that dude. shit into law and then you start letting and then you start the deportation process then what happens what else goes on the train what, what else goes on the train yeah. and, and, and but, you've but, established what, the system what's the next power that's going to use the system and what are the people going to think and do oh, now man. now that <laughs> hey the government has sanctioned the fact that these people shouldn't be there that is dangerous for those people yeah. because the overwhelming majority here are like oh fuck yeah we are caught in the crossfire of all these people that don't like us yeah. sanctioned by it's the like u.s government the south in the 1960s where like, yeah. if you were a black man up for a murder charge like you were you were fucked yeah it didn't it didn't matter didn't like matter. the jury of your peers and all that like it you would there was there's to a, a million bird. cases where yeah. it's like they never really knew who the murderer was but they just picked a black dude and once that dude was in the court he was fucked and yeah it's because the government said he was fucked so yeah. that everyone underneath the government could go oh well i'm just doing my job yeah right like once you once I'm you just install doing that, my I'm job just doing my job then you're it, it that's the yeah. death that's, of society i was yeah. about to say and that is literally saw, the that was all covid yeah. was that was all all of my conflict I'm inside the fire department and everything else was people saying like oh, it's not me it's the cdc guidelines <laughs> <laughs> like n- no you have the ability to say no and you're choosing not to say no yeah it is you right? it is you yeah yeah yeah, cops Absolutely. outside of Uvalde. My my final, don't do your fucking job. My my final thoughts bled into your final thoughts. Sorry, your final thoughts. Don't do your job. Don't just do your job. Don't just do your job. Yeah, yeah ask do the questions. Right yeah, no, it's not even it's, it's not even just asking questions. It's like, is this morally right? That's the question. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, and then stand, and oh, then I from guess that is a question. Then, oh, it's not. Just, there's, it's not asking a question. It's ask the. It's Plus, asking the question. If there's <laughs> things, if there's things in life that are worth dying for, right. and there's things in life that are worth going to prison for, and there's things in life worth being fired for, and we have we have neutered our society to the point that people don't even want to get in trouble with HR, much less lose their job, go to prison, or die for right. their beliefs. Right. We have to get back to a place where people are willing to look at their employer, look at their family, and say, "Shit's about to get tough, but I'm not doing this." Yep. You know, that's that right. You think any field agent in the ATF or the FBI? They're us. Yeah. But they're just going with the fucking flow. No, dude. Have you seen Dirty Kid's shirt? ATF is gay. Yeah. No, I have. You know, but like I, like I have. They were just doing their job. It's, it's all my buddies yeah, from the military, yeah. you know? I have a bunch yeah. of guys from the military that got out and, and they work federal law enforcement jobs. And like when I talk to them, like, hey, you know, what's the vibe, you know, out of your field office or whatever? And everybody's like, oh, this is fucking stupid. Even the ATF guys that I talk to are like, we don't understand this shit either. It's like, but you guys are enforcing it. Yeah, like you guys are just you're stop. still enforcing it. Yeah, stop. you just being at work every day is enforcing what they are doing. You see it when they film ATF agents knocking on people's door. That's the yeah, first thing they, they say. They I'm just say doing like, hey, my job. It's, it's not yeah, on me, dude. Exactly. It's not on me. Like, yes, the fuck it is. You could you, just say I'm not doing this yeah. and quit right now today. Yeah, and you go make twenty five dollars at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just say no. Just, just say no. Just dude, say life, no. Yeah. Life is about life, life is fucking difficult, man. And I have drawn some very hard lines in my life that have made my life very fucking difficult. It's not that hard to do it. Just we were talking about yesterday. Just do it. 
Just yeah. do the right fucking thing. Just right? do the right fucking thing. Yeah. Absolutely. Personal responsibility. Don't yeah. bring me on podcast. Not anymore. doing things is just as important as doing things. It's true. So, and anyway. with that, we, we bet thee. A queef. A queef.